Fucking hell. Right, geezer. It's an actual wardrobe. You're living in a, an actual cupboard. It's an actual shipping container. Fuck me. This is insane, man. You live like this. It's a refrigerated shipping container. James, we are not in a hamlet in the woods. We're in a fucking van in a car park at the back of an industrial estate. What are the biggest stressors for you living somewhere like this? I guess, obviously, there's a box that you're living in. Obviously, I go out and about every day to kind of keep sane. It's just depressing, I guess. You don't mind kind of living in this small space with a laptop and a bin. Are you happy living in a cupboard, man? For the time being, there will one day be the time where I choose to exist maybe in a closet, walk-in wardrobe. For the time being, the, the cupboard will have to do, yeah. Essentially, you're in a van and... You're, on a, you're just on a knife edge, that's the problem. Yeah. How long more is this sustainable for you as a lifestyle? I mean, it's been two years now, so I feel like I'm probably coming to the end of it. You know, you have the amenities to live, but you do not psychologically have a home. No. Why are all these people here? After selling all the council houses for votes, the government realised that they needed somewhere to put all the poor people, but they didn't want to build council houses. That sounds too much like socialism. So, they leave it to the market to do it. Section 106. Section 106 is a planning obligation that was brought in by the Tories 30 years ago to privatise the construction of council houses. Basically, if you build private housing, a certain percentage of that housing must be affordable. Very quickly, the developers started to work out legal ways to dodge Section 106. They exploit government loopholes like giving the council secret viability studies that say they won't make enough profit if they build social houses or even bus stops. Meanwhile, councillors across the country are working as paid consultants to developers. And guess what? Feck all affordable houses are being built.